वेलकम बैक इन आवर अनदर पार्ट एंड या लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम बेसिक लेवल डिजाइन मेक श्योर वी आर नॉट डूइंग द कंप्लीट वन बट बिकॉज वी नीड टू फॉर डेवलपिंग पर्पज वी नीड टू डू सम लेवल डिजाइनिंग बट मेक श्योर द लेवल डिजाइनिंग सेक्शन इज टोटली डिफरेंट सो विल बी डू दैट लेटर ओके लास्ट ऑफ वीडियो वी सेट अप द फिनिश लाइन एंड वी ऑल्सो एड ए बैरियर फॉर अस नाउ इन द बैरियर फर्स्ट इन द कलिजन सेक्शन I'm going to remove the their default collision. If even if they didn't have the collision also, so we need to add a box collision. So it will be work like this. Simply click on save. Now, what I need, we need a basic map. Okay. So as you can see, this is a uh, a one by one component map. Even it's uh, quite enough. Okay for a a small game. Like if you're creating a small vehicle racing game, yeah, that's just pretty much enough. You can go give a throne like this, and you can come back. But I need some more bigger. So what I'm going to do at the landscape, simply go to manage, and in add component, we can add some component. Or basically, we are basically increase our map size. Uh, even I don't need this ones, but I need maybe. let me for calculate the everything like perfect uh at 1 2 1 2 1 and 1 2 okay yeah then it will be work great so now i have a accurate calculation for every side so you know it will be never become big or small uh in every way it will be become perfect like this okay now this map is enough big now i can delete these unnecessary parts because i don't need them okay great now what we need is we are going to i already add some mega scan rocks and other stuff so yeah we are going to use them but the first we need to create the landscape for the landscape i'm using mega scan some texture so you can go to mega scan surface and for the texture i'm using this let me just show you just pressing render and if i just look at it and then oh i can even i guess split that uh, 2d texture so it should be uh load and yeah there's a go so make sure there's a uh, some normal map available too so yeah also at the resolution we need to do a change but we are not doing right now okay at the material now we need to create a material symbol let's give it name that land mat okay that is the basically the land material so we are going to create a folder for this one uh, so in the game assets uh, because this is a texture folder uh, i guess i didn't create folder yeah let's create the mat folder so there we could contain our or material so in a feature we can basically upgrade that easily so we will simply move that to our material folder like that and now at here and the landscape material we need to create because we are going to use a uh, multiple a uh, texture or like a 2 to 3 uh, so that's why we need to use the landscape blend and we also need a one more stuff that is we need the landscape color code so with that we can basically tile our stuff uh wait uh i'm so sorry so with that we can basically do the tiling and stuff so what we need to do we need to simply write here that multiply and on uh, multiply and one and then parameter let's save it to a uh, t a uh, t i all uh, the tiling and i'm simply connect with this make sure by default we need to put a value so let's give it the default value to one or otherwise our texture look very bad okay at the landscape blend we need to just double click at the double click we will found here the layer blend and just set it to preview a, a height or y to 1 by 1 and the first one let's give it that d that is the default and then the second texture i'm going to use for as a roots so i'm just put the name as a road now we can duplicate and paste the three time at the three time now we can get our texture so let's go to surface and it are represent i'm going to use this as a by default so i'm grab them all just simply drag and drop so we'll be select something like this this is the rgb color or the albedo or diffuse whatever you call then we need to use the roughness and other stuff so metallic and i'm going to simply connect with like d d and this is the normal map so d so we are basically going to do the same uh, steps for our 
uh, if I say uh, uh, we can remove like, like this uh, for our second texture that is the road so for the road I'm going to use this one so simple drag and drop and let's set it here albedo normal and yeah now at here we'll be connect the rgb and rgb rgb for this one we'll be co uh, connect all the multiply uvs make sure we will be contact with uv and the last we need to connect with the uh, base rough and normal now you have a wonderful texture so we can use that simply save that okay for controlling this parameter we need to create a material instance so it will be more easy for us to use that so create a material uh, instance now at the landscape then we'll be search our land mat so land land mat there's a land mat material instance will be select that and it will become like this now you need to go simple go to your select landscape and then at the painting you'll find something like this if it's not loading just remove your the material and again just search that land mat uh land mat <laughs> where is that go uh, land mat instead okay now actually we need to create a simple white as a blend normal and we get the map we can create a map automatically they provide us a map shader uh, asset so simply create and then we need one more time like this now save them okay if we uh, check very carefully we'll find something there's a looking like a tiling and other stuff what you basically need and i'm going to move my character and this player a uh, start location to the end point like this okay so basically the game will be start from this location now what i'm going to do i'm going to do same basic level so yeah and, and simply need a road like this to this and it will be look like that so simply go to landscape and at the painting mode i'm going to set my brush strength to one and the uh, value to the 1000 and now i'm going to paint simply because this is a racing track so i can do some movement stuff like that wow it's looking like a heart shape yeah so as you can see this is quite enough very easy to do so yeah it will be work great and even we can do one more shortcut for our player if our player take this shortcut like this they will be basically get a uh, you know upcoming uh, like they come from their rock and they, it will be automatically connect or this place okay so yeah it's uh, depends on the player uh, which one the player will be take so let me just for now let me just remove that okay and let me just give it like this okay this is only to player choice will be give uh, you know kind of like a multiple road option okay it will be look great now we have this uh, road and let's create our finish line or let's put our finish line basically so at the for the finish line uh we need to go to our final mesh and there's our mesh basically and yeah it will be look great this is our finish line now we need to create basically the border line but we for now we are not going to do that because we need to do some level designing then we can do our second step uh like the boundaries and barricades for this one now because we set up the our level uh <clears throat> now this is basically you can say quite level uh, quite enough a simple basic stuff okay and even i can put some rock here for uh, development purpose uh, for some you know development purpose you can say that so the mega scan i already import some rocks so i can simply drag and drop them and change the scale so it will be look great kind of like three you know there's oh my god two yeah two is will be great so yeah because this rock is very high poly and i don't want to crash my mobile that's why and make sure the most of mega scan assets has this problem like there's a only use give, give you a one face uh assets okay for now it will be look like this 
I can put someone like here and one more like this okay yeah it will look great and then from this one our game will be start and yeah so that is enough for today's part in next part we'll be do some development more thank you so much for watching